Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Donna. Excuse my voice once again, my allergies are bad, but we are gonna make some roasted garlic mashed potatoes. We're having a, a nice chuck roast with some gravy, so I figured I would share how I like to do my garlic roasted potatoes. So let's get started. First, you wanna get your garlic in the oven. You wanna get that started so it can roast. I normally do it with the whole clove roasting, but I only had large cloves. So I just took them out of the peelings, mashed three large ones with maybe a teaspoon of oil. And we're just gonna lightly wrap this up and get it in the oven because this is gonna take longer than our potatoes. And we want it to get, we want it to be ready around the same time. So let me pop this into the oven at, I got my roast in here and it smells so good. I'm ready to eat. I bet you are. But this is that your garlic's going to roast probably 35 to 40 minutes or until it's nice and soft. And those are large cloves. Meanwhile, I have me four pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes. I peeled them. I, I have them setting in some water because you don't want them turning colors while you're doing other things. And just go and make sure you, you slice these all around the same size because you don't want, um, you know, all different sized potatoes because they're going to cook differently. But you use what potatoes you have, but I highly suggest the Yukons because they're they're buttery and they're, they're very smooth in texture. They just got a wonderful texture. This one here is a little bit bigger, but you got the idea. Keep them all, and you can keep your peelings on if you'd like with the Yukon Golds. I wouldn't suggest that with russets, but reds or Yukons, you can leave those peelings right on or leave uh i'll do that sometimes i'll peel most of them and then leave maybe two or three with peelings and we'll just get them we're gonna get them all cut up get them into our pot and i'm gonna continue cutting the rest of these up guys okay guys i always give my garlic that good 10 minute head start because you want it all to be done when your potatoes are done, because you don't want your potatoes cooling down and then mashing them, that's like a big no-no. You want them potatoes piping hot. So you can even um, roast your garlic before you're even gonna start your potatoes. Just have it done, you know, hours before. But I have my potatoes there. I'm gonna bring them to a boil. You can see I have them all cut. I got my water a couple of inches covering my potatoes. I'm gonna put in a good teaspoon of salt I'm gonna bring those to a nice boil and then turn them down and we're just gonna boil them to the fork tender. Uh, just poke a fork or in them, or fork or, <laughs> fork, I gotta say fork or a knife and just make sure they're tender. If that fork goes through them, just don't overcook your potatoes. That's where a lot of people will go wrong. You'll, you'll cook them and they'll absorb too much water and that's not good guys. So keep an eye on them potatoes. Check them, you know, it just depends on how small you're cutting them. You can get them done a lot faster if you cut them smaller, but I've always done them that way, so I'm going to check them in about 16 to 20 minutes. So we'll let those come to a boil and leave them at a, a good, not rolling boil, but turn it down a little bit once it starts boiling. If those people out there that don't know how to make mashed potatoes. So just a heads up. All right, guys. Okay, guys. Um... I have my, there's still some heat on here, drained. My potatoes really good. Now, if you don't have electric, mine's electric, so you can hear them potatoes sizzling. You want to try to get all that water off there. Okay, now what I like to do is just push these aside. And if you have gas, just turn it on a really low, low heat. I'm going to go ahead and add in my roasted garlic see there and that'll mash up well just till it's lightly golden brown if it's done just keep an eye on it you don't want to burn it we'll go in with my salt and pepper I have half and half now that heat there will warm that milk there's no need to warm it because we're keeping everything warm here on low my sour cream that cream and that that 
uh, sour cream is already warm. You don't want to put cold in there. You want everything to be warm. Okay. And one thing is for sure, do not overbeat your potatoes. They'll take on a totally different texture if you do that. Now, um, the, the half and half, or you could use milk if you don't have the half and half. You know, you put in what you want. It just depends on how thick you want that potato. But just mash it up. Get everything worked in, and we're going to get these bowled up so y'all can see the finished product okay guys there are the delicious creamy garlic roasted potatoes they are like amazingly delicious now one thing i forgot guys everything you need is going to be in the description but curtis caught the butter i forgot to add the butter in when i added the cream and the um uh the sour cream and the half and half you add your butter in then, and I added four tablespoons, and just let all that melt and then mash them all together. But who could forget the butter? Curtis, you reminded me, and it's like, you know. But anyways, um, these potatoes are, I mean, really, really, really good. Me and Curtis were already eating some, but I'll, I put some chives um, up on top, just chopped them up because I had some. And I put some butter on top. Did you guys see these? Look at that. Don't those look good? My bite, Curtis. Mm, 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 mm. And those scallions on top, or chives, they... Just make those potato. You can stir some, stir some in actually in your potatoes if you want. But there they are, guys. Um, everything's in the description that you'll be needing. They're so simple, but they can be very easily messed up if you overcook them. So don't overcook your potatoes, guys. But until then, uh, or, or I was going to say until next time, <laughs> right? Until next time, I guess that's what I wanted to say. Please like and subscribe, and welcome all my new subscribers. And get yourself subscribed because we're pushing for the 50,000 subscribers for that giveaway. So get yourself subscribed. Until then, make you up some nice garlic roasted potatoes. You'll be glad you did. Bye-bye.